Hi, in this tutorial video, I'm just going to go over something to correct here. I made a video a while ago that says avoiding a pink terrain when you use the lightweight render pipeline. And I really just made another terrain. I didn't actually fix the materials on the existing terrain. You know, that's kind of like a miss. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to fix the materials when you turn on the lightweight render pipeline or the universal render pipeline, how to fix your materials so they're not pink without you having to reapply them. So let me just open up a new Unity project and we'll go from there. I'll just make it a 3D project, fix terrain, and create it, 3D project. All right, so here I have a new 3D project, and I'm just going to add a terrain to it. So this is my example. I'll have a terrain that I'm adding, and let me just make it a little bit smaller. So I click on the settings and shrink down the size a little bit, just so it's manageable to work with. OK, enter. So that that should be smaller now. And now let me just add some um, mountains and stuff. But let's do a texture. So here I click on the paintbrush, paint texture, and let's have a terrain layer that we're going to add in. But let me just drop in a, um, a texture I found online called grass. Just any picture, right? So here in the edit terrain layers, I have to add a layer or create a layer to use for drawing. So I created a grass layer. And since that's the first layer, there you go. Grass is displayed there. And here it is, the grass layer with the terrain and the grass layer. And this is my texture. Now let me just um, pull up some mountains. Or I could change the scaling on the grass so we can see it better. So let me pick the material. And over here, maybe do like 30, 30. There, so I could see the grass a little bit better. All right, now I'll switch from the paint texture in the drop down to raise or lower terrain. And now I could just click and raise up the terrain in some spots. Let's see if I could increase the opacity. That's like how strong it's going to pick up uh, for when I press Maybe this one over here. All right, so we got some hills. So you know, it's a terrain, all right? Now I'm going to switch to use the universal render pipeline. So because right now this is a 3D project and it's not using the universal render pipeline yet. This is just a regular default renderer. So what I'll do is I'll go to Package Manager. And it's going to show me the packages in my project. But I switch to the Unity registry. And I scroll down until I get to the Universal Render Pipeline, Universal RP. And I'll click Install for that. All right, so the Universal Render Pipeline installs. There will be a check mark here. And instead of selling, saying Install, it'll say Remove. So I close the Package Manager. And also here in the Packages, it shows me the packages too, that it shows the Universal Render Pipeline here too in the Packages. All right, so it's here. But that doesn't mean that my scene or my project is using the Universal Render Pipeline yet. What I have to do now is create an asset. So let me um, uh, create a rendering, Universal Render Pipeline. And let me create a pipeline asset that comes here. I'll give it a name, URP. So now I have these two things created with these icons. But still, my project is not using the univer Universal Render Pipeline yet. So now what I'll do is I'll go to Edit, Project Settings. And then here in the Graphics tab, Here's where I could finally pick my pipeline asset. So right now it's not using any, but I could switch it to use one, the Universal Render Pipeline Asset, URP. And this is where it happens that the textures all turn pink. The materials all turn pink. So I could take that out. I could put it back. Let me see and see if my textures come back. Project Settings, Graphics, Universal Render Pipeline, switch back to None, and then my textures are there. OK, so now let's see what happens. When I say URP, and I save that there like that, how do I get the textures to show without me changing anything or recreating anything? I just go over here to Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, and Upgrade the Project Materials. And there, now I get my materials fixed. And that's how you get the pink textures fixed on when you use the Universal Render Pipeline. Thank you. Bye. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects, and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.